<laughs> Welcome back to motherfucking horns up. I'm your host Andy Rouse with Shane Newsom and Dan Anaki Dan and Jay Hannah. But unfortunately, no Jeff Fernandez tonight. He couldn't make it to the show part two. Jeff's not here. <laughs> Dude, that is a perfect drop. Here we are after the song that I just wrote, and uh, let's let's uh, let's kick off the show about some drummers. Our Hell favorite yeah. drummers, man. Dude, drumming holds fucking well, all music together for the most part. But like, man, metal. The drummer, especially when you see them live, you you come to it comes to life. And like, especially as a young kid going to see metal shows for the first time, that's when I fell in love with drummers. Realizing how much power and how important the drummer was behind the music. Oh, dude. Oh man, especially when metal started to like, you know, the modern times where the drummer is like, what is it called? Like syncopated w- up with the uh, with the guitar riffs and shit like that, yeah. where they're like shredding like. <laughs> together you know yeah 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 yeah, I fucking, yeah yeah i love that shit a band is only as good as their drummer and that is no more true oh my than in metal God. hell Dude. yeah holy shit like but I, you also you can hold that card over a drummer like motherfucker i can i can have a computer program do your job so do your job. <laughs> yeah, damn straight, dude. Make it's sure like, you do it's your incredible. Job. I can even have it the, fuck up a couple times the, if I really want the to. The fucking caliber, like the fucking acceptable caliber of drummer is just so much higher now for metal bands too. Is the pressure you on. have to be able to play to a metronome. If you can't yeah. play 100% to a fucking metronome, like, <laughs> I mean, not, uh, I'm exaggerating, but like, or really damn good to one, like, you can't play in a fucking metal band. Because it, it just won't sound right if you're not chugging along with everyone at the same fucking time. Or fucking brrrr. dude, that's it, it's awful when you go see like when you're like a big fucking metal band. And I don't know, you got to give it to some of the drummers, especially like the older ones. And it's like they're like 30 days in on the tour already. But dude, the double bass drum, dude, I, you could be I don't care. You could be sloppy with all your fills and everything but dude your bass drum especially if it's fucking trigger dude you better be clean like jesus christ this is the worst thing you hear like a death metal song where it's just like you want to fucking hear that in like in time you don't want to hear like fucking slop dude and there's there's some big name drummers that can, that get away with it. Sometimes. There's drummers that set themselves up for that sometimes too, right? Like yeah, there's yeah. some of those those guys. Like I remember off the top of my head, like my. But there's end. other people that were gonna play tonight that'll put any of the other drummers that I'm talking about. I'm not gonna name names, but to shame. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, man. We got a new top drummer list from each of us to bring you tonight. So yeah, who wants to kick it off? How do we want to do this? Just like I got the random. Name picker, yeah, yeah. So Jay and a hand. Jay starts. Jay goes off, first. Bro. I then one of my favorite drummers of all time is the drummer from Fall of Troy. Ooh. Um, yeah. So the reason I love him so much is because like he matches the style of his guitarist so perfectly in a, a sloppy yet meticulously organized way. Um, I forget the song that I picked. What song did I pick from Fall of Troy? You sent? Oh, no. yeah. I sent you a, a, in the... Um, oh, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> <what? in> the <laughs> text. It's The Dark Trail. <laughs> yes, The Dark Trail. And this is actually a really good example <laughs> of this dude being able to perfectly match the guitar because the Fall of Troy guitarist is all over the fucking place. And um, he's so yeah, fucking dude. solid. You'll hear what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Yeah, these guys are wild. I haven't thought about them in so long. I 
Dude, this vocals, though. <laughs> dude, it's like yeah, the, he, he was trying dude. some shit out. Like he, fucking, yeah, he was dude. trying to go somewhere else, but um, like he oh, goes into oh, that yeah. next chorus, and he fucking like it's it, it all falls into place. You know, there's that chaotic mess, and then when the chorus comes in, it feels far more organized, and it's like that beautiful that that interplay between chaos and organization which is i think i think like, if we like just pause it and comment on it we can play it probably but at least some of it yeah I'm not, i won't play the whole song but Clean, dude. Like it's not programmed drums. Yeah, dude, that's just fucking. Dude. So I would say there's there's like one thing that you should check out is the breakdown. Okay, okay, you got a timestamp <laughs> for me, bro. Dude, this reminds me of like if you could. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say go like three quarters into the song. Oh. Oh. Go. Go back. Go back. All right. Twenty seconds. I know. Old school breakdown, man. Yeah, yeah that's so, so you know nasty. what i'm saying like they they just they play it so um they're all on the same page which is a difficult thing to do dude i hear like early well i mean i would say that like protest the hero sounds like they must have had a lot of influence from that band you know what i mean i hear a lot mm. of a lot of similarity there i also hear remember the bled i hear a lot of mm. uh like where the bled took that sound eventually years later, you know, fall of Troy were fucking pioneers. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. And it, you know, it's like a lot of people have to get over the singing, but I mean, <laughs> it's, something, <laughs> it's something that I love. I love his voice. And, um, but like, it's just a three piece. The guitarist is doing all of the singing. He's singing and playing everything which is just oh, yeah. like that is next dude level it's fucking insane dude i gotta give a shout out to my cousin brian campbell dude like i don't know fall of troy was one of his big influences and like dude he could fucking sing and play guitar just as good as this guy and it's a shame their band never made anywhere but i have a fucking recording it's a shitty recording be it of one of their fucking best songs ever <laughs> and maybe I'll play it at the end of the episode or something, but yeah, I just had to give him a shout out, dude. Cause like, it's just the fucking golden, most perfect post hardcore you ever heard. And they never got to record the album with me, man. I'm so upset. Oh, bomber. Anyway, Next. dude, every Ray time I die, did, did you, Wait, you don't want to do another, you know, you gotta know. You, you, oh, you gotta, oh, we're going through all one. my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, word. Yeah. Word, oh, sk- word. Okay. Skip around. Skip around. Skip around. Okay, yeah, we can skip around. Yeah, we'll skip sure. around. All right, all right. Or right, right, right. another name. random name. Pick a random name. Just pick Jay again. All right, it pick me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking AI. All right, what do I got? Okay, dude. Aaron, I don't know how to fucking say his name. Aaron Stauncher. Stauncher, Stechhorner, S T E C H A U N E R. 
Anyway, yeah. fucking rings of Saturn, man. Woo! Oh, yeah. oh my god, dude! Yes, Cannot sir. Be fucked with, Th- dude. This guy is incredible. Like we've already talked about this band like a million times on the show already. <laughs> but <laughs> holy, and we never sh- play it. Oh my god, dude! They are so fucking good. Um, yes, I always thought it was um, just a. Uh, uh, uh electronic drums for a while before i found out it was a real drummer i'm like oh my god i never got um, to see these guys live i'm not sure how they do their recordings they're pro- there's, there's probably layered samples if it is live drums because those tones are fucking insane uh, that's like, what i thought until i saw them live. oh no he like, can I play was, it like, he can no play it dude go, well, go watch the drum playthrough videos i mean the drum fucking playthrough insane. videos tones aren't nearly as good as the record, but I mean, that's kind of a given. It's not in a studio. Anyway, this guy is fucking incredible, regardless of how the drums were done in the studio. You go see him live. It sounds like the fucking studio. That fucking bass drum, dude. blast live like it's fucking insane like he could do it loud enough it's so funny the standard for a metal band drummer is so much higher than across any other genre <laughs> you know what i mean like you at maybe least jazz. have to be able to play maybe you jazz gotta, no jazz don't touch that jazz dude, don't dude. i mean jazz is difficult i, I respect and i love jazz Absolutely. trust me i love jazz it stays dude, within I its lane jazz. I would say jazz. I mean, well, there's crazy jazz drummers too, though. I mean, there's crazy jazz drummers that end up in metal bands. <laughs> That's yeah. usually how it goes. Right. But the the stamina. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The fucking stamina. But, dude, I don't know, man. Dude, the fucking hi-hat, the, the hi-hat chick is like, it's like, it's way harder on your fucking, uh, your, your calf muscle Nuts. and the front muscle. <laughs> <laughs> the front leg i don't know what the front leg muscle is called <laughs> but dude like doing that one dude it's i don't know because to get that nice loud every fucking because you don't use your snare as a snare in jazz you use your hi-hat basically as the snare mm. and uh dude uh dude jazz drummers man they got it they got <laughs> it man they got this going on but dude yeah no one no one no drummer in the fucking world has shit on Aaron just just stitch horner stitch horner <laughs> we got some contenders oh. shane we got some contenders there are some contenders i was just about to say that dude, he's, he's nasty statement. he's nasty but there's other drummers that have played for that very fucking band filling in here and there i think you know so bro 
There's some good ones. <sighs> Who are we going to next? I, I, by the way, Ooh. I don't know if you're seeing the chat. Oh, is Actually, it my turn? Yes. Cool. Go with the one I just added to, to my list. Oh, okay. Because right, <laughs> I just, me, okay. The, yeah, it's just so nasty. So I ended up with a bonus too. one, and it's, it's um, I, I didn't get his name, but it's my bitter end. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this band. They only did one album with this lineup. So this drummer's name, I couldn't figure out which who you know I had last minute decision. But the song is called "Comfortable with Corpses." This guy is fucking insane i've never heard anybody with his ferocity so yeah it's so tight oh yeah oh. but he was beyond his time Let it get going. So clean, right? Ready for it? Dude, classic yeah, metalcore, yeah. dude. Fucking, fucking red in, yeah. dude. That <laughs> New was York metalcore, man. And that dude got, I don't even know his name, man. I can't remember. I'm not even, he, I know that My Bitter End kind of changed the lineup a bunch and tried to put out a couple other albums throughout the years, but that whole album, The Renovation, sounds like that. It's it, absolutely insane. It just, it felt timeless when I heard him. Dude, like, I don't, Metalcore drums is probably the funnest kind of metal drums to play because it's that guy was definitely going a little more like intense with it, but like more the basic style, just like the fills and stuff, just the the, the, fills, the triplet yeah. fucking one, two, three, four on the hands, one, two on the kick and another one, two, three, four. You can do all the, you know, fucking rolls Fuck on the yeah. drums and stuff. Guys, the sweep. Guys I guess. are too technical for me, man. <laughs> so a sweep, it's a sweep. So you just do one, oh two, like, three, four the on the time. So it's do, 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 do. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So it just <laughs> sounds like it just sounds inclined. like a constant roll on the drums, but you're using your bass drum to fill in some of the notes so you can make it to the next tom, and so you also don't have to try to keep rolling your hands consistently in triplets that fast. Mm -hmm. So you can do them really fast. And There's one thing he used to do. I it didn't catch it in that clip, but there was often where he would like do his double bass rolls, just, you know, kicking the double bass. And then it would literally speed up to a ridiculous speed. And then he would s slow it down and he would like vibe in and out of this, like slow to high. It, it was just nuts, man. It was crazy. I've never heard any drummer do that before. Fucking shredding, dude. Dude, let's. Uh, I guess we got Dan now. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna start off with um, Vinnie Paul from Pantera. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> I mean, best best drummer of all time. Fuck well, yeah! I wasn't Perhaps. pissed about what you picked. <laughs> I just had another of your picks pulled up. There's <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> there's there's a great number of drummers as there are bands, but for me i kind of went with just like bands that i really like i haven't talked about and also just drummers that are good i don't yeah. i'm not as technical as you guys and i go a little bit more old school with my shit so pantera primal concrete sludge oh yeah okay okay 
Okay. Gotta pay homage. <laughs> Fucking heavy. Pantera is so great. Fuck Kill it there. So nasty. But, you know, I also got to give it up to the big guys too, you know, because I'm a big guy and usually drummers are little skinny twerps and you don't see too many big drummer guys. So, so true, man. I got a friend out in Western <laughs> Massachusetts. He's in a sick fucking band. I should probably feature them on here sometime. He's a big dude, but that dude is so quick with the hands, man. It's insane. <laughs> Andy, you're up. Yeah. I am it, up. It, you can drum like that and keep your beer belly. You're a fucking <laughs> <good drummer. laughs> I always say, man, fucking musicians, they come in all shapes and sizes. That's, and for, color. Sure. Yeah. That's for sure. It's always fun seeing like a really fat giant guitarist like Dino from Fear Factory. I remember he was just such a huge fucking dude with this like tiny guitar, even though it had seven strings, you know? All right. One I'm, of my, uh, well, one of my favorite things is seeing musicians that are like meek. You know, just just uh, unassuming, and you don't expect anything from them, and they destroy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love those motherfuckers. Those are my favorite motherfuckers. It's like Phil Bozeman like from White Chapel. Scandinavian guitarist. <laughs> no, well, a Scandinavian guitarist, they've got long blonde hair. You expect something from them. <laughs> you know, you expect, you expect great. Sometimes it's and, long, dark hair, too. Yeah. Yes. Yes, for sure. I'm talking about the, you know, those those tiny children looking beings that are like semi autistic, <laughs> maybe Aspergerish, <laughs> and they can't like string together a sentence. They're like, yeah, I, I like to play guitar. You know, I play guitar real good. We're we're happy so, to be here tonight. Thanks for giving us the chance. <laughs> I went into I went into Guitar Center uh, a while back because I had to get a cord for uh, the mic into the fucking roadcaster and shit. And uh, so I was like, I, I don't know where the fuck to go. Best Buy sucks. So I was like, oh, there's a new guitar center that opened up. So I went over in there okay. and there was a kid that had a uh, uh, down syndrome and he was just fucking shredding on Shred. fucking the drums in there, dude. Just nice. ripping. Yeah, I was like, fucking get it, dude. <laughs> That's right awesome. on. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing like Dillinger Escape Plan when I was younger, and they were all wearing like polo shirts and like nice flannel shirts with like clean jeans. And we're like, you know, we're at a show with like walls of Jericho every time I die, Norma Jean, shit like that. We're like, what are these guys? And sure enough, fucking. Oh my Tear God, what came out of them? You know, they're just like jumping all over the stage and shit. So it was such a shock to see that, you know, I all forgot right. about Dillinger. Dude, they're so good. I think they, their music has gotten a little bit weird, but they were weird to begin with really when it comes down to yeah. it. All right. So I don't know. I can't remember my list, but I sent it to you, brother. So whatever dude, you got queued up. Dude, I got <laughs> Alex Rudinger. Alex Rudinger. Rudinger. Who's Rudinger. been in every fucking band. He's like yeah. the drum champion of the world. But right now he's definitely in Intronaut as well as Whitechapel. And I think maybe the faceless. I mean, he does all these studio albums, so he's insane. But I think I picked a song from Intronaut. Cubensis. Cubensis. Oh my god. You can tell those are live drums, but they yeah. still sound fucking fire. 
Are you watching them right now? Oh, no, you're good. Sorry. <laughs> Simple work, man. Times to hit the drums. I gotta skip ahead. I gotta hear. Something. Oh yeah, here's some more. He goes off for like it's four gotta... minutes. There he goes. Yeah, dude. This song is absolutely beautiful in itself. You don't know how hard it is. What he's doing right now on the drums. <laughs> I don't. Right. That clean. You know, I almost. I think he's got two the- floor. He's got a, he's got floor time on the right and left side. Okay. He's got a yeah. big set. This kid is huge. Not, I we already played the contortionist, but I don't know how I didn't pick the contortionist. Does he do this, this is, for the whole song? This is very contortionist. This song's like eight minutes long. This band is amazing if you're not oh familiar God, with it. I've never heard I, of I say it every like, episode. This is amazing. I say it every episode. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! Holy the th- fuck! I, the thing is, I, I wanted to pick one of their songs from Fucking an earlier shit. album, and this other drummer that they've had for four albums is absolutely amazing as well. But they kicked him out, and Ruddinger's in because that dude like beat the shit out of some girl or something like that. Oh. <laughs> so like, I had to, I wanted Better to pick Intronaut so bad for the drumming. Last beat it her, but I needed to. <laughs> <fight>. <laughs> <laughs> but I fucking needed Ew. to hit Ruttinger at some point That's too. So came together. Yo, Dan said blast beated. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fucking blast beater. It sounds it sounded like Mermaider <laughs> blast beater. <laughs> blast beater, blast beater, blast beater. Dude, had we not pick pickles the drummer, Dad? <laughs> oh my God! Well, because <laughs> the sleeper you just haven't watched has the fucking show. <laughs> Oh, that was that was fun. Oh man. man! But no, no, for real though. Like to keep that going for as long as he that the thing about drummers maybe he metal still drummers thought he they, was drumming and she just got in the way. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Well, he sleep it, it feels like it feels like you're giving him a pass, and I'm just gonna move past that. <laughs> um. <laughs> This is a show about drummers. I'm making jokes. <laughs> no, but yeah, Shane, you have like, to include like rim shots here. <laughs> in, you know, to, be, to be a drummer too, you have to be ADD. You know what I mean? Like you have to be, you have to be that kid in class that will not sit still. You know what I mean? And Dude. if I yeah. was, I'm, if I'm, I was like, yeah. like if we're watching The Wire and I was a superintendent <laughs> or some shit like that, I would find those children and move them into the music class. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, like, see God. if I could put them behind a uh, a, a state, some you know, subsidized quads, set of drums. Bro. <laughs> fucking get them marching, son. I do remember that. Like my friend who was the drummer in our band in high school just literally had his drum sex all day at school and he was tapping his legs or his knee. He was tapping his feet on the ground. He just literally dude, had to be feet. drumming. Oh my God. I just would be double bassing all Fuck day yeah, long. Dude. Dude. You have to be really coordinated with left brain and right brain too. Yes. Yeah. I've Hell yeah. tried to drum and I cannot takes, like make everything move independently like that. It it's takes a good while so hard <laughs> to even to be able to like make all the limbs move, but then it takes a little bit longer 
to make you move them in time yeah yeah and then be able to like relax enough to have that down pat yeah you know uh, yeah yeah, it's a whole process watching it happen with friends it was just amazing to watch them become like some of them become amazing drummers you know i really if you're if you're in high school and you're listening to this fucking you join jazz band fuck that is the the very best place to learn how to play music with other people hell yeah yeah because like on a on a like at the drop of a dime they say hey playing seven eight now yeah and he's just fucking, like what fuck shit up um, they'll teach you they'll fucking teach you mm. so i am next on the list and i just i i gotta give a shout out to my fucking my drummer dude he was on my show so if you want to hear some about him check out paulie c uh so he we and him we did a drum cover of architects uh gravity and uh so this is this is him fucking playing live drums in my living room i think i hope this is the right recording it's like it's pretty pretty sick cover damn dude he's so fucking cool so are you nah i got the stems High caliber drummer right here, son. Dude, this band has been writing Final Fantasy epics for like three albums. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he's so fucking on it, dude. Jay's drummer in his band. Holy oh, fuck. dude. Oh, my God, dude. Where's the freaking... Dude, that was nasty, man. There's a... Oh, there he is. Yeah. Dude, he fucking killed that cover, man. I could literally oh, yeah. hear the vocalist the whole time, man. He played it again. <laughs> <laughs> I love Architects. Yeah. I can't re- replicate that shit. <laughs> Such a good friend. That was, that was, he actually, he's really fucking good. He dude, played that vocalist, exactly like man. the record. Yeah, and that's, well, no, yeah, I, was, I was talking about, I was talking about the, the song changes played. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. Totally okay. So that that's your boy? Yeah, dude. Yeah, man. That's fucking good. Yeah, that's my drummer. Go check out my band Sigic and that's live drums too. I layered it with with samples, not the cymbals, just the drums. But uh that's all live oh, drums. I didn't do any time editing. I made the samples to his drums. Did you did you play guitar too? Yeah, I play guitar on it. Fucking, that's what I'm talking about, Shane. Dude. You're fucking, <laughs> you're stupid, man. You're fucking, you're you're a goddamn like fucking. I don't know, dude. You're it's like gross. a gypsy wizard. You're like a goddamn gypsy wizard, man. You're fucking. I you you came out of nowhere, and you're just like, hey, man, I got these songs. I'll write all these songs, and I'll fucking. <laughs> all fucking do you remind so me, long. I like, just want people to hear it. Dude, I, yeah, Is that, that like sounded you, exactly like the Architects album, man. Remind me a lot of my guitarist, except that like I didn't, I did he, not play guitar on that. I found those stems online. Oh, word. What? Yeah, oh, yeah, the drums yeah, yeah. were well, fucking. The drums, the were, drums were killer, him, man. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. unreal. What I'm saying though is that like, had my guitarist, <laughs> it, if he had started recording on his computer at the same age that you started that was fucking like 15 you know what i mean it'd be that's what i'm saying like we didn't start fucking with computers till we were like in our mid-20s uh, you know what i mean like it was like we were in our mid-20s in 2000 fucking 10 uh, you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you know um you're a specialized dude thanks man that means a lot <laughs> i'm fucking serious man what you laughing about it's true <laughs> <laughs> all of, dude, all, I think all of us here are dude, man. special people, man. I think we're uh, at least changing the world a little bit, man. 
Who's up next, man? It's Adam I always got, Jay Hunahan. Like <laughs> I always, I always kind of hope that someone finds all my work in like twenty two thirty five. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> here is a specimen from two thousand twenty. Look at his life's work, and you know I get celebrated like some lost artist. That's what I always hope for because it's not going to happen in my lifetime. It's a goddamn store. Or it's like from this audio, life sounds absolutely terrifying. We don't We're know much, like, but it sounds terrifying. <laughs> Check out. Check out it's, in what the else? Fu- it's, it's in the future where people over specialize and they get like they get really impressed that somebody did multiple things like podcasting and music and right. writing or some shit. They're like, this person did several things with their life. Look at how I'm you know, I just that, that, yeah. that's what I'm doing it for. Posterity, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. what do I got next? What do I got next on, on the list, Shane? Let me see. All right. So you got uh, uh, Mike Novak. Every, time, every I time, time I die. That's the fuck right. <laughs> Off Broadway. Oh, man. Off Broadway, bitches. Off Broadway. Talk about them. You want to talk about three, ADD? One, two, this, three, dude, pick it this, up. Dude's, this dude's got ADD. That's what yeah. I'm sure. Scott, you have to. They don't remember how to play these songs. Attention. They had to. Damn. Like I saw the hot damn out. This master is loud. I feel like Midnight Mike would love every time I die. <laughs> it sounds like his guitar riff. Dude, Midnight Mike is a sick guitar player, man. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but we were supposed to be working on EP. It's been like over a year now. We haven't worked on it. But he's busy as fuck, so I haven't bothered him. But like, dude, this sounds like some shit he would write. On hand, May. This is a musical. But nothing goes right. Nothing goes wrong. I'm sorry. I so nasty. Pause it, but he, dude. Yeah, but like this dude, fucking, he just goes off. You know what I mean? So there are these, you can tell he's these, fucking hitting those drums. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So like when we, our last drummer, he he was fucking incredible at everything he did. But this this new drummer that we have, he is like very focused on hard hitting. And he came from from rock. He did not come from metal. I, I am yes, <laughs> um, and it's crazy to see because he was not a metal drummer. So to see him progress through this, like his his uh, footwork was not adequate at all, and he just like stuck with it and fucking like uh, he applied his style to metal. And it reminds me a lot of what the every time I die drummer does. He loves every time I die, you know, like uh, I just got him into. So uh, Norma Jean, um, they did, Oh God, the aftermath. And that drummer, he disassembled his double bass pedal. So, Oh God, the aftermath is just a single bass pedal for the whole album. Well, and when I told him that, he was like, what? I've never heard that. I, I had no fucking idea. I was like, well, now you're never going to unhear it. Um, but his style reminds me of every time I die. And like, that is just like, it's hard hitting. There's fills every fucking moment in that album, especially that he can fit in, you know, and um, just hard hitting fucking no blast beats. There's not one blast beat in the whole album, dude. That's yeah, not their can, style. You can get away no. with that. It's, it's very- interesting that they 
took Very away acceptable. that kind of metal style out of their later stuff. You know, the metal core kind of went more hardcore. And of course, following that, the lead singer ended up in the chariot, which was all post hardcore. It was just all that simple, small little drum kits with fucking hard hitting drummers. You know? Yeah. Look, and yeah, just they... like brutal guitar work. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was all, the, and I love it. I'm, it's weird to say, but I love the chariot. Yeah, I love the, the chariot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just I, went the distance. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It was like it was like the, the, the singer of Norma Jean. He moves over to, to the chariot. He goes, "I want to do what I always wanted to do with Norma Jean, but was right. not allowed to do it." He was like, "Do you know what I mean?" And the other four people in the band said, "Yes, I know exactly what you mean." And uh, that's that's right. I always say, man, it's, it's fucking. It's the the hardest thing about being in a band is getting four or five people in the room that want to do the the same thing. Oh, very intimate God. relationship. It's that's very why I'm not difficult. in a band right now. Yeah, right. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for better or worse. Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been working with the same two people for like fifteen, almost twenty years. That's amazing, dude. Not many people can fucking say that. Yeah. 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 And amazing. I mean, we've, we've all taught each other a lot, but we've all like grown in, in this direction where we just, we, the three of us wanted to always do the same thing. And at different times were, or were not able to do it or got lucky, found someone that, that like joined us for a, a period of time. But that's, that is the fucking hardest thing. Yeah, man. Congratulations like, to that, dude. You guys are well, just getting better and better. It's, that's a great thing. You know, is that's, it, that's it, great. Uh, think about like, like between the buried and me, yeah, I can, I, like, I can't imagine those like five people finding each other in a world of 6 billion people <laughs> to do that. You know what I mean? Like all five of those people go, this is what we are going to do. Yeah. yeah. And the evolution of that band and the, the fact that all yeah. five have stuck around and evolved with this movement, you know, even yeah. I'm kind of falling off their train for a while now, you know, it's not really going where my taste has been, you know, but they together have been able to come up with the, their own masterpieces together over this long period of time, even though they've changed so much, usually that's a lineup change that, that occurs, right? Like Fallujah is two very different bands, the old stuff versus the newer stuff. They lost a guitarist and a singer that, that changes so, so much drastic things, you know? Yeah. I think a good example of that is the human abstract. Oh my God. Yeah. And the, it's and night, it's night tragic. and day, night and day. Yeah, man. You know, I just pretend that Nocturne never happened. That's all I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that happened to Poison the Well as well. Mm. But actually, I think they yeah. got better. Dan Unaki Dan. Dare. Yo. You're next. Uh, it's going to get a little heavier from Pantera, but not much. Nico McBrain. Iron Maiden. Fuck, yeah. Stranger in a strange land. Hmm. Fucking Nico. Dude, those drums uh, are programmed, dude. Nico's original drummer. Hashtag Nico's. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking eighties, <laughs> right? Dude, they had drum machines, bro. You know the drums. I'm not trying to talk over the song, but the drums in uh, uh, Smashing Pumpkins. Um, um, can't Melancholy. fucking think of the name of it. But that's the drum machine. Doing on that fucking hi hat right now? Yeah. Dude, that bass drum? That's a one singular bass drum. No Brave New World, you hear that? That's for Jay. 
fucking right. <laughs> 1979. This he's fucking incredible. I love Iron Maiden. Dude. And then fucking do all the other shit at the same time. <laughs> That's why they're legends. Oh my god, yeah. dude. I always say too, like those uh triplet hi hats is fucking difficult. You know what I mean? That you know to to maintain that for a whole song and also another thing that i always say is is the hardest thing about playing a song is to play a song without fucking it up Dude. you know what i mean like to play it perfect <laughs> yeah, from man. beginning to end Damn do you know straight. how many times you have to practice anything to play it seamlessly perfectly every time Dude. you fuck it up so, and i fuck shit up all the time you know what i mean especially when it comes to playing anything Dude. um and he so like practiced. that's what's beautiful he about, recently like, he recently fucked up he recently fucked up in a live gig and gig and offered to quit the band because he messed up damn <laughs> That's, not that's, cool. like, that's, that's, fucking intense. that's the best drummer i've ever heard of <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> so in, in god of, we used to up, do this, man. like we used to quit. do this fun thing where if we had like a a, a total meltdown mistake we would uh, have this like little play acting thing where we'd start pointing fingers and yelling at each other and do some cool shit and then go back <laughs> into it. And then we That's did that awesome. two. Sh- we, well, we did it two shows in a row. And then the practice after that, I was like, guys, we cannot do that. We cannot have an out. You know what I mean? Like we just have, and, you know, that's coming from me. I'm, I'm the singer. No one notices if I fuck up or I say the wrong words or anything like that. Someone notices when the drummer fucked up yeah. the guitarist and all that yeah. shit. And I was just like, we have to go fucking like burn the ships. You know what I mean? No turning back. We Damn cannot, straight, we cannot <laughs> have an I out fucking am, for man. fucking it up. And we always prided ourselves on being able to recover from mistakes because it's a, it's a tough thing to do, you know? And, um, and they happen, they happen, man. They happen to they the do. best of us. They do Even fucking after happen. all the fucking 10,000 hours of practice. <laughs> yeah, sometimes yeah. your hands just don't yeah. want to do what Sounds you like want a, them to do. But Sounds I've always... Um, like a song I've, name. Too many beers. Cover from my mistakes. <laughs> I've always um, like wondered at drummers with their stamina that could do something like, for example, what that drummer was just doing like that, 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 that for a whole song. Did, you know, uh, fucking, yeah, dude. Fucking um, uh, 1979, Heaven and Hell, yeah, uh, Black Sabbath, there, yeah. Well, Bill, I think that's Bill, is it Bill Ward? Yeah, dude, Bill Ward, Bill Ward broke, he not only like created metal drumming, he broke the mold of rock and roll drumming, like nobody played like Bill Ward. Yo, Dude. he was the hardest hitting drummer. Fuck he yes. he did a whole bunch of shit that was like total. Not even nobody did what he did. He he to, he paved the way for all those drummers. Hell yeah, paved the way, Dude. I I can't believe I didn't pick the award. I'm actually Dude. mad now. Uh, it's okay because he's one of my favorite drummers. What the fuck? What was that? That, okay, that was that was, a, that was a band that called was Iron it? Man. Iron Man. Yeah, dude. Where's it at? Where's it? 
Yes. Where's Play. He? Yeah, Where's NIB. No, there's all his fills, man. There's this spot where it, like, stops, and he's just like... Boo, 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 boo. Could be anywhere. I don't know, but dude, just listen to that. Oh my god. And NIB is like 1967. Yeah, dude. It's so insane. Dude, fairies wear boots. Like, I was taught by my dad when I was a little kid that Led Zeppelin made everything heavy after you know that came afterwards, and I don't know. I think I think Black Sabbath is doing their own fucking thing. Using his crash symbol as a crash symbol, Tom. Gosh, to be real. Dude, that bass drum work. Uh, I think uh, some of Bill Bill Ward's best work is, um, I mean, maybe War Pigs because it's just Dude, that iconic. So epic. Um, but also he did a lot of great, well, like, um, is it super not super not and, and, um, snow blind, I think are my favorite songs in relation to bill ward, because this dude was like, there was no, um, template for him. There was no precedent. There was nothing. He just had to make it up as he was going along. Mm-hmm. And this dude, you can keep talking. Oh my Snow god. No blind. Yeah, I fucking yeah. love this song. All those ghost notes, son. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is some, like, John Bonham level shit, son. Yeah. But he, like, he's just, like, up a notch, dude. Like, That's what I'm talking about, man. He's hitting, like, as hard as John Bonham would hit, like, but all the time. And they were hitting those drums at the same yeah. time. You know what I but mean? I like, love- yeah, man, wow. I love that. Straight. Holy shit, I didn't even, like, think about that for some reason. Well, no, I mean, I didn't either. Because, I, you know, I, as I said, I grew up think, being taught that Led Zeppelin made all your metal music. That's, yeah. that's the way. It, and it's nah, like, dude, nah, nah, not at all. Bill, Black Sabbath, Black, yeah, fucking Iron sad. Maiden, they were all doing their own thing. Fucking Boston, dude. The band Boston. Yeah. They dude. have so much metal in their music. <laughs> oh, I man. Love you know, I, I just got he the made chills, his man. own fucking guitar tone. He, like, built yeah, man. a pedal or something. And the lead singer with his high fucking crazy vocals, dude, Brad Delp, rest in peace. I saw him twice live, actually. Incredible voice. I get, like, so angry so often when I have to play a song that is, like, up outside of my range when I'm, like, trying to, like, play an acoustic song or some shit like that. That I don't even, like, how did all these motherfuckers, they all had high voices. (laughs) To to play in standard tuning without a capo is like what and to do that night after night and fucking tour after tour did it have um, like acdc (laughs) no fuck acdc no no i mean no for real dude look i get on some a little bit acdc i grew up on that (laughs) shit but like holy fuck i don't i don't know how he did his vocals every night i don't know how he did that because it's like just trashing them like Oh my Honestly, god! Dude, it's kind of similar to the guy from Architects. It's dude, not screaming. It's not, it's not yelling, or and it's not the singing. way the guy does it in Architects is gonna like harm his voice potentially, like For way sure. less. Like, I, 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 dude, it's yeah. can, but oh my god! So I'll give it, I'll give it, I'll give it to the singer of ACDC that he was able to do it as long as he did. However, like I. Not only do I hate that band, I hate that singer. Um, <laughs> but I'll get, I'll give them some props because I know how difficult I know how difficult that kind of singing is. And he, they just like he, he just ah, I hate it. I hate it. But, but he I killed I, it, dude. 
He did he what he notes. was doing well. He, he hit, hit the, the notes. notes uh, and I've seen live shit from them and live they're perfect. They're fucking man. perfect. You know, I've I'll give that same. to them. I mean, they're you not that I mean? complicated song. Some of the guitar not, shit is, but the drummer the, that, yeah, that Angus drummer, Young can fuck he's around. He's a solid man. drummer. You can't say he's not a good drummer. Nah, he's hopping around. No. But like he's a uh, 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 you know, it's it's just very simple. Very yeah, simple. Yeah, yeah. It's a different time, honestly. But it's just it's just so annoying and I that <laughs> actually no, it's not a different time. I said I did it the same thing with the Led Zeppelin Black Sabbath. Yeah, like, no, it's no. not a different time. No, it's, that's ACDC the same was doing time. that while Boston well, was doing what they were doing and, and while Black Led Zeppelin Cabin. was doing. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I will give credit where credit is due. ACDC did pave a certain path and show people that like, yo, listen to how this simple shit sounds good. Big giant concerts. Yeah. Yeah. Or sports, this is a, sporting events. This is arena rock. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Welcome me? to arena rock. We ain't playing. I don't know if it's really no done more. much for us. <laughs> we ain't, we ain't four playing. more to go. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So who's God. wait? Who's, who's next? I went twice. Who already? Who hasn't gone yet? I've no gone twice. one. Everybody, no one's everybody, not everybody, gone. I Everybody's gone Andy at least twice. twice. No, I gone once. Oh, oh you only gone twice. Nah, you gone, gone twice. twice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jay, you oh, went no. twice. Yeah, I went twice. You're right. You're You're right. Gone Dan, twice. Let's, it's my turn. Everybody we should probably twice. pick one more. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, one more each. Shit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I got too right. many good ones. I know, dude. I don't fuck. Don't do a part oh, two because drummers shit. are just so fucking rare that you love all of them. That <laughs> you, you know, there's so many good ones. Oh, I've come God. up with like three or four I, more. I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn between Lorna Shore and Chelsea Grin. Mm. Pablo Vivaros and Austin Archie. I'm glad you're uh, playing some female action and up in here. That's not uh, um, Chelsea Grin. Uh, is, that's a all band male name. band. <laughs> They're all guys. <laughs> oh. They're Chelsea all Grin guys. is an Chelsea ancient. Uh, that's like a there's horrible like, thing to do. Like where you like cut although, a smile into someone's face. But the uh, I will, uh, I will, I will say this: there's a there's a there's like a the band Joker? that I play with. There's a band that I play with all the time. Their name is Conforza, and you guys should check them out. Although their recordings are not as good as they are alive, and I hope they don't hear this and hear that <laughs> they're fucking incredible. But yo, they have a they have a female singer. She is the best singer I've ever heard live. Like nice. she is so fucking mm. solid. Like um, so I've seen uh, what what is that? Otep is Otep the girl mm. singer? Is Opeth? It's Otep. Otep is the girl singer. Uh, Ot- yeah. Yo, she. Uh, fu- I'm I- I'm always in awe of her. She's fucking incredible. Uh, Conforza, check them out. Cool. She's fucking. She. I, I've never heard anybody like her. She's so strong, powerful. It's seamless. Yeah, dude. So, all right, I'm gonna go with Lorna Shore. The song's called Funeral Moon. It's insane. But uh, so this, the vocals on this is actually Chelsea Grin's current vocalist. Nice. So, shout out to Tom Barber.
Oh my god, Jeez, dude! Fucking brutal. That was so tight, dude. He's so that was good. Yeah. That was I great. To, I got to smoke great. some cannabis with him nice. on tour. <laughs> well, yeah. The new singer for Chelsea you- Green or the drummer? But both of them. Uh-huh. He was in Lorna Shore when I smoked. Ah, <laughs> oh, <him>. nice. <laughs> Maybe ever, I'd like ever, Chelsea uh, Grin now, dude. Chelsea, ever tell you guys I met I met Ken Susie? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So i i was uh, I was claustrophobic at the age of fifteen, sixteen. I got um, i i went to a, an emergency exit in the Palladium, and I pushed the door open, and I tried to get some air. And the fucking security guard ripped me out. And he was like, you can't fucking do that. You're going to get, I'm kicking you out. And I was like, oh no, please. You know, I, I want to see the, all that shit. And it was during Unearth and oh, fucking, God, and he was like, all right, I'll tell you what, you sit out here for, for 10 minutes and I, I'll think about letting you back in. Ken Susi walks out after his set fucking short dude i was 16 he was still fucking six inches shorter than me <laughs> and, and he was like oh hey man what are you doing here i was like i, I kind of got like kicked out a little bit for uh opening the emergency exit and he was like oh shit well that's terrible he, he was like well what are you doing here man you like you like a on earth and all that shit i was like i fucking love you guys what do you he said, what do you do? I said, I play guitar you know i'm in a metal band and he was like you know what man fucking keep doing your thing you know, chase your dreams. It was all positivity. And then he turned over to yeah. the, he looked over to the doorman and he was like, can you let this kid back in? He was out there smoking a cigarette. And I was like, fucking thank you. Let me back in and shit. Fucking Ken Susie. Fuck yeah. Ken Susie. That's yeah, awesome. Man. That's Ken Ken Susie. Yes, they did. That's cool. that my story about mean, Ken Susie. Mean, uh, Ken rock sushi. stars. I think I ate that before. Because, like, they're just regular people. But, yeah. Like, they usually have, like, a lot of perks at the venue you're at. Mm. Hey, <laughs> so sometimes not, you should. So a lot of times not. The venues are, like, fucking, like, complete assholes to the bands for some reason. I don't understand because that's how they make their fucking money. But Yeah. Not not the Palladium in Worcester, though. The Palladium in Worcester. Dude, that's so one of my favorite venues i've ever been to dude that was the best yeah. show i've ever fucking played infamous Packed place man yeah five or six hundred people walk, dude metal walk, hardcore fest into my music what was metal it? hardcore i didn't write right. it but i was in the band and Newland i've played Metal the, I've, I've played the metal Jay. hardcore fest oh yes. yeah what's up dude you should b- bick your head what i should bick my head you can see that from fucking from over here yeah yeah. All right. <laughs> My girlfriend's been telling me the same thing, bro. It would look pretty badass on you, man. <laughs> you <you're the> <laughs> kind of have that Jesse Leach thing head, going man. on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been putting it off because I have enough hair to just like just enough hair to, you know, <laughs> hang on to it. <laughs> you know, and yeah, that's um, what they all say. What's I fucked up uh, is that I st- I started losing right now. Well, all right, hang on. Let me let me get all close and shit. It's like, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It's there-ish, you know. But yeah. um, yeah, I know I'm right there. Easy I know, to part it, right? I started. I started losing Gotta it. Get the you know what's over, fucked son. up though is that well, the thing is is that my barber doesn't listen to me when I tell him to cut it short. He leaves it long so that I come back in a couple of weeks. You feel me? Like it's a sick ass fade. It's a it's a beautiful fade. I know, I know. But um, my girlfriend's been telling me the same thing. She looks at me every you know couple of weeks and goes, "When are you gonna fucking just start shaving your head? You need to fucking start shaving your head." And I, was like, I know, I know. <laughs> no pressure. Oh, man. But it would yeah, look fucking I'm, metal. I'm not Jay's girlfriend, good, by man. the way. I'm dead. Oh no! <laughs> that is that is that's Dan that is definitely Dan. that is Dan. <laughs> Dan. But you know what? Yeah, whenever wh- whenever Dan speaks, I listen though. So <sighs> Dan, it, that's Power funny. It, it, it's it's so funny how this has all been working out synchronistically with the fucking random name picker and like the topic or like the last person who's talking. And uh, Dan is on the list. <laughs> nice. Oh, you know what, dude? I have so many good bands. We're only doing one more. We're only doing one more. Dude, but Dan, we'll give you two, yeah. man. 
Uh, Dave Lombardo, fucking Slayer. Fuck Dead yeah. Skin Mask. Such a good Dead song. Skin Mask put it to 250. Man, All right, we'll a talk song about, about Ed Gein. Man. I mean, so fucked how up. can you not fucking say Slayer? <laughs> Slayer! Slayer! Slayer. I remember our fucking I remember Slayer. People, uh, so evil. I saw the God hates us all. Slayer tour. into their fucking skin uh, with blood and shit. And I remember a lot of kids were yeah, trying man. to do the same shit all the time. <laughs> so I remember I, I have a lot of friends with scars on their arms that say Slayer. Yeah, I got one too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got a pentagram and everything. We were like, he was like yeah. probably seventh grade or some shit. Yeah, yeah, that's about the time. <laughs> Brutal. That's, that's like so the great. first. Get that's tattoo, one of the first like heavy metal bands you get introduced to when you get into heavy metal. It's Slayer, and then Slayer changes everything. Yeah. And Slayer, what's great about Slayer is they cross boundaries because a lot of people that are into punk rock also like Slayer because yeah. they're more of a thrash band. And they and, did a punk uh, album, and most too. most metal people don't like punk rock. Like, I hate fucking punk. I've died dumb right there with you, Dan. I'm sorry to anybody <laughs> no, I like a there. couple I just, things I can't here get and there. down with it, man. I just, I just never could. I don't like... I don't like the singing. I don't like the same fucking chords over and over. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, but whenever whenever anybody plays a Slayer song, like they're like, hey, man, you want to listen to Slayer? I'm like, nah. And then they <laughs> trick you, you know, a couple hours later and, and they put on a song. You're like, yo, what is this? It's fucking good. It's fucking Slayer, bitch. You know, fucking ah, always. Slayer, bitch. Yeah. Uh, and you're like, actually, this, this shit's fucking you good. You can tell. It's fucking Slayer, good. man. Oh, yeah, that guitar tone. <laughs> Oh shit. I spent on my drum kit just going dude oh my yeah. god man I love well, that that, song. that's exactly what I'm talking about so I'm gonna play some Slayer and you're like I I ate shit man fuck yeah so, man was, was, uh, I guess was you're Slayer, pumped up in a hurry well uh, you just hear you hear raining blood so much you're just like I don't right. want to hear uh, Slayer yeah, I want to hear Angel of Death <laughs> right now <laughs> so was was Slayer yeah. contemporary with Metallica or did they proceed Metallica. Contemporary, right? Contemporary. Like, yeah, I think they're they around were around the same time, time period. Yeah, eighty two, maybe even a little bit later than Metallica. I yeah, would you think, think so? so? Yeah, maybe eighty three, eighty four, or something like that. Yeah, like, somewhere around because there. it kind of sounds bit later, like not um, that too far. Because Raining Blood oh. wasn't their first thing, anyway. I don't think. No, Seasons. In no, the, no, no, that, no, that song Seasons? came out before. Yeah, Seasons was one of their first. I think it might have been their second album ever, and it might have been before. Shot I don't know. To heaven. Now I'm very south of heaven. No, that was much later. Yo, Anthrax is actually sick. It's ac- absolute fuck. Anthrax yeah. is pretty dope. But we're not going to yeah, ever talk about like, hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, the the singer from uh, from Slayer sounds a lot like James Hetfield. Like they sound like they share something. Mm. Some type of doppelganger. 1983. Kind of a- I'm seeing 1981 active from oh, 1981. Really? Oh shit! Which would put that's them like, what? Nineteen eighty three. Uh, show no mercy. <laughs> well, what the so, fuck, Wikipedia? Kill them all was what like eighty four, eighty one, eighty one, eighty, eighty. I think. Time. Yeah. 
Listen yeah, to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on in early? Yes. He won. The Slayer was formed in 81. Carrie King, Henneman, Lombardo, Araya, all of them right away. And they just started playing cover songs of Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, and Jews Priest, <laughs> Venom, <laughs> so, California. <laughs> and yeah. What the- I, I fucking love those stories. Like Black Sabbath started out as an Elvis cover band. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. So, so same year they came out. The same year, eighty three yeah, was Kill 'Em All. Awesome. So. Totally contemporary. One time, I got in trouble at a bar for saying out loud in a bathroom to my friend that I prefer Slayer to Metallica, and this giant bodyguard <laughs> started screaming at me and, and like threatening all of us about how great Metallica was. And he was just going insane. It was it was amazing. That was it. Shit, Andy, awesome. you're fucking next. On and this. how about that? All right. So if we're gonna pick our last ones, um, I think I'm gonna have to go with Joey Jordison from Slipknot. Man, I, yeah. I, I got a lot of good drummers on this list, but it's got to be him. And I picked Eyeless. And I just put the whole damn thing because whatever, any part of this fucking song is <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> Rest in he peace, one, Joey Jordison. He rest uh, in peace. One of the best ever. One of the fucking best ever. I always wondered if he, uh, like in the beginning part here, I'll replay it real quick. Oh, that's him too. Like, I wonder if that's like they remixed his drums to sound know, like maybe. that, or like if they just made like a regular breakbeat. Well, one thing was that, that when I saw on the, on the DJ when shit. I when I saw Slipknot live, they played Eyeless, and it it sounded almost exactly like the album. You feel yeah. me? Like he plays that it, intro part like exactly the same way. Yeah, it's that's pretty nuts. So I love Breaky, dude. That's so sick of every metal. This drummer frightened me when I first heard it. It sounded like murder. Breakdown, dude. Uh, it's all in my head. It's all in your head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And all these fills, dude, those drums dude, sound like they might have like a yeah. Q on them, dude. That's insane. He's slapping yeah, them hard. This is probably what St. Anger was supposed to sound like. (laughs) No, and I was just about to say, too, like, the fucking, he was a victim. Lars is fake. (laughs) Lars is fake. Hashtag. (laughs) He was a victim of the times in terms of, like, what his drum sounded like. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he he should, it's a shame. It really is. Because metal drumming in the 90s and early 2000s, they did not know how to EQ it. They were just not like, at all. I can only imagine sound engineers just like I have no idea. I don't. Yeah. I have no <laughs> it just was, clue it was what to just do. Old rock EQ, like that's yeah. all they knew how to do. Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. There was no. Yeah, that's why they I'd figured say out the a, bass drum a little bit. They're like, all right, a lot of high end. I think that yeah. would be the majority of sound that you're hearing that would decipher like old school metal versus newer school metal, where it's like all of a sudden the drums change drastically dude so basically it's just like what the opposite of guitar tone you want like a lot of bass a lot of high end not much mids that goes like pretty much across the board for your bass drum and your toms Mm -hmm. and then snare is a little funny sometimes it likes a little more uh upper mid 
but the lower mids in most drums you just scoop them right out and then that gives you a lot more of a modern drum tone Mm -hmm. like i always point at um alaska like the 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 overall sound of alaska from between the bear to me was terrible Uh, especially the drums like the drums for alaska were horrible you look back on that album man it's it's not it's a beautifully written album and the songs are incredible but it is not a well-produced really album it's not polished at all it doesn't sound much better than like uh life is peachy you know the doesn't sound much better quality wise yeah it's like quality of like uh the old school the bled fall of troy hopes fall poison the well 18 visions like it was it's it was beyond that era yet it sounded like the same level of production but anyway yeah joey jordison man fucking legend jay you're upside upside down jay so uh so do uh do do let me see right here. Do do. Uh, do Brett Powell from the Human Abstract play Horizon to Zenith? Ooh, Horizon to Zenith. I fucking love this drummer. No. It's like a heart emoji. It's like a TV really far <laughs> emoji. in the distance. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, the teeth. It's a really loud master too. See, that's insane. I'm like 99% sure those are live drums. Yep. Oh, holy fucking shit, they're fucking slapping. It's so expensive to record by drums to give me sound like that. I just want to keep listening to the rest of that song, dude. Dude, it's so oh, is it, cool. uh, <laughs> Those yo, are live Shane, drums. If, you, if you, yes, it is. If you have not listened to that album, it, it is one of the best metal metal not. albums ever. Those yo, incredible, incredible. Yeah, dude. Digital Veil, The Human Abstract, 2011. It's so they, sad that they're not around anymore. They have like hinted at maybe they're going to do another album, but oh. man, you know, man. That album um, speaks for itself, uh, though. It's so amazing. Yes. Well, because their first album was really good. Their second album was trash. Digital Veil is just like a fucking masterpiece. It's like if um if a Renaissance artist just like dropped a painting and everybody was like, where did this guy come from? Right. That's, that's a human abstract. You know what I mean? Like they, that is one of my favorite albums, period. End of sentence. <laughs> oh yeah dude i'm definitely eight, gonna listen to it eight well, tracks once it finishes you just play it again a lot of runner-ups they, 
Oh, go ahead, Jay. And oh, no, they also did um, the full Moonlight Sonata three movements. They did Moonlight Sonata. Damn, it's fucking gorgeous. Yeah, I was gonna say we all have a lot of runner ups, probably. Yeah, maybe we could do a part two or a revisiting of drummers at some point because man. There's so many good ones, and they're so hard to find when you're in a band sometimes, too. Hold on to them. You gotta Treat go them to nicely. bed. Hmm? You gotta go to bed or what? <laughs> it's it time. Yeah, it's the East Coast, man. I gotta, I gotta work at 5 a.m. <laughs> 10 30. Sure. Yeah. What is, it, what is it out off. there, Dan? Is it, is, is it like, you know, 6 or 7 a.m.? It's like freaking dinner time. <laughs> yeah, it's like 7, 7.30. Man. Hey, guess what? Oh, well, I'll tell you guys later. But let me, uh, let me can I get this one in? Because we, we haven't really played them before. And, uh, and you know, I usually do the same shit. So this is a little bit different for me. Okay. But I do like this band. Uh, it's Yoska. Ratakainen. Did you fucking type Children that in the Bowden? chat, bro? Okay. Yeah. Dude, I love Children <laughs> of Bodom. How do I not know that song? What album is that off of? And it, it's Warheart, and I don't fucking know. Are they dead yet? What are you playing right now? This shit. This is my. This is my band, <laughs> Sidic. Dude, this ah. is my drummer playing the live drums. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yo, like, like Shane sent me this J-O-S-K-A. song. J O S K A. Shane sent me this song. He was like, "Hey, you wanna, you wanna use this for your intro?" And it was just <laughs> like the most ridiculous. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, "Yo, this is so sick! I can't use this for my intro." <laughs> this is one of the sickest fucking things. I've listened to it like so many fucking times now, and I'm like, "Yo, I wish you lived in Massachusetts. So yeah, you could dude. be our second guitarist. <laughs> so you could be George Orwell's second guitarist. That's what you oh need to do." God. You need to relocate your whole life uh, and family. Why don't you? Yeah, why we're thinking to relocate yeah. three people. Yeah, you guys come yeah, down with me and Kate. We're heading. We're gonna head down to like the south anyway. So we'll get, let's go meet up with Shane. <laughs> yep. Let's do it, dude. All right. Dude, that's, did, he, he won take this song, by the way. I wanted to say that. I'm going to play your song. I just wanted to fucking... Oh, the song's crazy. over. It's only 1 minute, 56 seconds. But, the, dude. The great, okay. the he, the I, did, I just had to say, he t- he won take that song. Uh, what? Yeah, he won take that song on drums. Uh, I think the, most of the other songs he did in like two takes. I think one song we did in three takes. What a nut. But, um... Yeah, yeah, that one he did in one take. Yeah, see, you hold on to it when you find a drummer <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, okay, anybody He's young in a so band. Oh, good, man. Oh, my God. I fucking love this. Oh, my God. All right, so what do we got, Dan? What's our last track here? War Heart you by are. Children of Bodom <laughs> off of Hate Reader. Motherfucking Bodom. Rest in peace, Alexi. I love how he did his this fucking blast beats and everything, but then he still sticks with like a rock style drums a lot of times, and it works so good. Dude, this whole genre is filled with amazing drummers. Can you imagine if Corn traveled uh, to us with Children of Bodom and they could be Corn on the Cob? Corn on the Cob, dude. That'd be great. That'd be the best store. Corn on the Cob, man. <laughs> dude, listen to that fucking bass drum, man. Oh my god. <laughs> did we do a guitar solo? No, we did not. Already? We could totally do that. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. The stamina. The dude, fucking yeah, stamina. Dude. And there that that blast, that you will find me uh respecting our elders in that one big time. That's live drums. Oh my god. This is when they started figuring out how to how to put a little compression and EQ a little better on them. Damn, dude. Nasty. Oh my god. I love Children of Bodom, dude. 
Oh my god. They're a great band. I never got super into them, but uh there was a little time period where I was definitely into them for a while and then I just there's so much good shit it's hard. I just go back to like my favorites, but all right, I'm gonna skip ahead to the guitar solo episode <laughs> and just and just show you guys the best guitar solo I've ever heard. It's a guitar and keyboard solo. Is this Dream, is this dream, dream Theater? <laughs> nah, dude. Children of Bodom, dude. Oh no, shit. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> That, ba- that basically shreds, was Dragon Force. Dude. Oh my god, dude. That's you insane. look at a bunch of videos of them live, dude, and they just kill it. Oh my god, dude. The keyboard. God, we got to do a favorite keyboard player episode. Dude. Guitarists. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. We'll uh, cover it all, uh, man. We're honorable mention would be uh, Pete Sandoval of Morbid Angel. But we didn't get to that. But I was trying to go from lighter to heavier, work my way up. Mm, fuck know, yeah fuck it's yeah. all good i had matt to to graska well, we can from... do it next time next time next time hell yeah, yeah. i had matt gartska <laughs> from animals as leaders fuck that yeah. was one yeah, owen yeah, hughes yeah. from frontier frontier <laughs> they're, from terror yeah they're weird but they're amazing <laughs> i didn't and I didn't want to like. Oh yeah, Fallujah's dope. I I didn't want to like toot oh, my or our own horn, but there's a there's a moment in uh, 451 degrees Fahrenheit in uh, our last album where uh, the dude that played drums for that album said he broke his record. He did like 30 second, uh, 30 second note triplets at like 140 beats per minute. Jesus. Jesus. And he was just like, he was, he came to me. He was like, I'm so proud of this. Like, I've never, do, I've never done this before. That's Listen. Insane. And it was fucking, he was uh, the dude that uh, recorded, make the master, the album for us. And we were going to do, you know, program drums for the whole album. And then he came back. He was like, it doesn't sound good. So I, I want to play drums for it. <laughs> what like, the fuck? He said, I'll do it for 150 bucks. And I said, uh, do it. Jesus do Christ, it. are you even talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> 30 oh second no triplets at 140 God. beats per minute. Jesus. It's actually wait, stupid. Wait. 400, wait. 451 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, let's close on this. This is yeah. so sick. Oh, I want to hear this. Man. It's like uh, after halfway, three quarters of the way into the song. Hold up, I gotta type out the whole name. <laughs> Wait, you tell me you can't just hit a G? <laughs> Where at? Halfway? Uh, a little more than halfway. <laughs> Yeah, play that. Oh, 
he was not he was not supposed to do that. Wow. He was, Jesus Christ. Fuck he was, yeah. He he was not that was not in the game plan. That was not that was not there. That's awesome. Just like Shred, dude. That's so like, hard. I mean, I can roll. I could probably do it that fast, but not that clean at all. At all. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Like this dude, he's a specialized dude. These days he doesn't play drums anymore. He doesn't Damn. do anything. He doesn't do much of anything anymore. It's actually kind of sad. Love Damn, the, dude. Love the, Yo, love the dude to death. This, but like, yeah. Fucking do music again, dude. Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah. Special. He's a special guy. That's a goddamn sure. Yeah. Well, so respect you for fucking respect you, drummers. Hold on to him. Two horns up. Yeah, the if you got a so. if you got a good drummer, treat him well. Yeah, and share it with us. Share your songs with us, man. Yeah. Don't. Uh, or if you'd like to be a guest, and you have egos. a. A topic you'd like to talk about, please email Shane at <laughs> horns up the wait. Oh wait, hold up. I don't wait. remember the email. Do we oh, have an email? <laughs> um memento. Uh, oh fuck, it's, it's not like Geo Cities or something. It's I don't know. on my phone. Um momento. Well be oh. sure to check out Shane Newsome on I knew some, but I didn't know it all. And also Jay Hinahan on How to Kill a Sacred Cow. And Andy Rouse from the Deep Share Podcast. And me, Danny Unaki Dan from Rising from the Ashes. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. Dan's a goddamn professional. Like we're over Listen here just like throwing <laughs> shit out. Yeah, we're all just like blah, 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 blah. let's and do the podcast like, last minute. <laughs> We all go, what's the email? I don't know. Dude, my phone Jeez. is like exploding right now. It's not even good. <laughs> oh, Dan's just like, God, hey, you dude. fucking slackers. <laughs> fucking everything up. Making... Okay. The horns up pod at gmail.com. T H E H O horn. H O horn. <laughs> Party T H E H O R N S U P P O D at Gmail dot com. Yeah, Hell someday yeah. we'll have have our own feed and our own yo motherfuckers, we should just like start putting this up on Rockfit. Like well the yes. fuck not. Who like they don't the, give a shit. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try, I man. Every time I try to upload to Rockfin, it tells me the video fails. I've even talked to Jamie a bunch, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll get IT on it." And I've never had any luck. I have like I've one video never... up there, and only because Brandon emailed it to me. <laughs> Should I edit I this? No, man, I've I've never run into that on Rockfin. I've run into that on. Oh, it's uh, probably uh, my fault. Uh, I've run into that on BitChute, but not Rockfin. Mm, that shoot of bits. Uh, man, bit shoot, bit that shoot, shoot of bits. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah! <laughs> we did good on uh on on uh the Metallica episode did fairly well over on my end. I don't know how oh, it really did on your guys. They really fucking did. did yeah, fucking everybody die. seemed to like it. I never dropped it. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the previous one. I think <laughs> the one before it did pretty well. No, Metallica. You dropped them. I can't even remember how many we're up to now. We're I. I still need to write music for the vocalist ones, and then now this one. Word, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's Metallica next on the got, list. Yeah, Metallica was I, dropped. It's just whatever people that are like comes. Fuck first. Yeah, I totally I tell people that. that all the time. I say I say Shane writes two songs per episode. It's entirely unsustainable, but impressive nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. I got so I'm it. saying we need to get a, a formatted intro song, and then just write we one have song. Yeah, we have the intro episode. song. Yeah, yeah, and then just or just play out one of your guys' songs. Fuck it. Word. Have you guys Have you guys heard the legit bad mm. song yet? Yeah, uh, I'll play it for you. Yeah. Oh, 
don't play with that. Well, not right now. Are we? we have we even said goodbye? Are we still? Go we kinda, we'll say good, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, you horny fuckers. Love you. Peace. Keep the horns up. Bye. Stay horny. Oh, that on is the so perfect Boom. for that Cord show. on the cob. Cord on the cob. Oh, my God. And he does, you he always that? does the sound bites, too, so it's so perfect. 